Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss important current affairs of 25th February 2024. So let's start the video. Here is the first question. Consider the following statements about exercise dosti, a trilateral Coast Guard exercise recently seen in the news. First statement, it was first conducted in 1991 between the Indian and Maldives Coast Guards. Second statement, it is a Benial exercise that focuses on regional cooperation in areas such as search and rescue, countering piracy and pollution response. Third option, Sri Lanka joined the exercise for the first time in 2012, while Bangladesh participated as an observer in the latest edition. Post statement, the 16th edition of the exercise was held in February 2024 at the Pyongyang Tisco Lake in Ladakh. Which of the statements given above are correct? Okay. So here, all the statements are correct except statement uh, 4. Okay. The 16th edition of the exercise was held in Maldives. Okay. So which of the statements given above are correct? So the right answer is option C. That is 1, 2, and 3 only. Okay. Next question following statements about the navigate bharat portal recently seen in the news it is a unified bilingual platform that hosts videos on the entire gamut of governments development related and citizen welfare oriented measures second option it is developed by the new media wing of the ministry of information and broadcasting three it offers an interactive user interface to search stream share and download videos related to various comment schemes, initiatives, and campaigns with a filter-based advanced source option. Fourth, it is part of the Central Bureau of Communication, which is a vital unit within the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Which of the statements given above are correct? So, here the right answer is option C, that is 1, 2, and 3 only. Okay, four option is wrong. Actually, four option, uh, it should be uh, it is not part of the Central Bureau of Communication, rather it was uh, this uh, uh, Navigate Bharat portal was launched by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Okay, next question. Consider the following statements about the Kiru Hydel project recently seen in the news. First statement, it is a uh, 624 megawatt run of the river hydroelectric project being developed over the Chenab river in Jammu and Kashmir. It is a joint venture of the National Hydroelectric Power Corporation (NHPC), the Jammu and Kashmir State Power Development Corporation, and the Power Trading Corporation. Third option: It has been registered in the Guinness World Record as the world's highest frozen lake half marathon held at an altitude of 14,273 14, feet. Fourth option: It has been my uh, Mad in controversy due to alleged corporation, sorry, corpor, uh, corruption in the award of civil works, oath is 2200 crore for which the CBI has conducted raids at various locations. Okay, so which of the statements given above are correct? Here, the right option uh, answer is option C, that is 1, 2, and 4. Okay, 1, 2, and 4 options are correct is wrong because it is uh, not related to this uh, statement not related to Kiro Hydro project okay next question consider the following statements about the plasma analyzer package for Aditya Papa a payload of ISRO's Aditya L1 mission it is the first Indian payload to measure solar wind electrons and ions in the vicinity of the Sun Second option, it consists of two sensors, sweep and sweep care, which detect the energy and mass range of solar wind particles. Third option, it has successfully detected the impact of coronal mass ejections on the solar wind, which are massive eruptions of plasma from the sun surface. Fourth option, it will help in understanding the origin and evolution of the solar wind and its interaction with the Earth's magnetosphere. Which of the which of the statement given above are correct? Here all the statements are uh, correct. So option D, that is all of the above, the right answer. Consider the following statements about the ancient Badami Chalukya temples discovered in Mudim Manikyam village in Telangana. First 
option they date back to uh, between 543 AD and 750 AD corresponding to the role of the Badami Chalukya in the Deccan region. Second option they exhibit a unique blend of Badami Chalukyan and Paramba Nagara style of architecture which are rare in Telangana. Third option they have a level inscription that reads as uh, Gandalo, Gandalo Aran, Aranru which could be a heroic title or a place name. Both options they are located along the banks of the Godavari river which was the lifeline of the Badami Chalukyan empire. Which of the statements uh, given above are correct? Here right answer uh, is option C that is 1, 2 and 3 only. Both option is wrong. Actually uh, it should be they are located along the banks of the Krishna river. Okay. Consider the following statements about the recommendation of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India to display the caller's legal name on the phone screen. First option, it is based on the calling name representation supplementary service which uses the verified subscriber information from the customer application form. It is applicable to all types of calls including those made by registered telemarketers, bulk and business connections and transactional services. It is aimed at enhancing caller identification, curbing spam calls and protecting user privacy and security. It is mandatory for all telecom service providers and smartphone manufacturers to implement this service within specified time frame. Which of the statements given above are correct? So here right answer is option C that is only option 1, 3 and 4 are correct statement. Uh, uh, statement 2 is wrong. It is only applicable to individual callers. Okay. Next question. Consider the following statements about the World Trade Organization WTO recently seen in the news. It is the only global international organization dealing with the roles of trade between nations. It was established in 1995 as a successor to the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade that was created in 1948. Third option, it has 164 member states representing over 98 of global trade and global GDP. Fourth option, it operates on the principle of consensus, which means that all the decisions require the agreement of all members. Which of the statements given above are correct? Here, all the options are, uh, all the statements are correct. So, option D, that is all of the above is the right answer. Which of the following statements about Bharat text 2024? A global textile mega event organized by 11 textile export promotion councils and supported by the Ministry of Textiles. First option, it is being held from February 26 to March 4, 2024 at two venues in New Delhi, namely Bharat Mandapam and Yasogami. Second option, it uh, second statement, it showcases India's entire textile value chain from farm to fashion with a special focus on sustainability and resilient supply chains. Third uh, statement, it has attracted participation from over 100 countries, 3,500 exhibitors, uh, 3,000 buyers and 50,000 trade visitors. Uh, four, it has launched the textile brand innovation challenge which aims to identify futuristic circular solutions for the textile industry. Which of the statements given, given above are correct? Here, option D, that is all the above, all the statements are correct. The end of the question. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.